I wish that everybody who decided to become a doctor or a nurse or a nurse practitioner or just a, a, you know any kind of healer in healthcare um, spent two years working with ecologists and, mm -hmm. or farmers or someone who works with natural systems. Mm -hmm. uh, because, by the way, we are one. <laughs> yeah, we are one. And it's farmers who really are coming forward and saying there are principles of soil health that are super important, not just for protecting soil and for uh, protecting the environment, but also for protecting and nourishing humans. Hi, I'm Kaya Perowit, one of the producers of the Doctor's Pharmacy podcast. As a functional medicine doctor, Dr. Hyman focuses on treating the body as a system rather than treating the individual symptoms. In this mini episode, Dr. Hyman explores how this application of systems biology extends beyond our body's inner workings to its interaction with the natural environment. Here's Dr. Hyman in conversation with family physician and founder of the Health from the Soil Up initiative, Dr. Daphne Miller. You're describing this sort of broad range of things where you're seeing the harm that our current agricultural production system does to the workers, right? Because of toxic use of chemicals, because of poor working conditions, because of being almost indentured servants and human rights really is a huge issue there. At the same time, they're, you're, you're, we're hurting the soil that we grow our food in. So our soil is depleted, our food is depleted. And then the food we are growing is commodity products that are turned into processed food like corn, wheat, and soy that end up causing all this chronic disease on the other end of the spectrum. And it's this huge problem and everything's connected. And that is some of the beauty of your work where you, you actually are connecting the dots between all these things that don't seem connected. Mm -hmm. Like what does the you know microbiology of the soil have to do with us and you talk a lot about this in your work and I, I'm fascinated to sort of dig into this because uh, one again I get a little bit deep right away about how the microbiome which is this brand new topic in medicine that didn't even exist when we were in medical school connects to the microbiome of the soil and how, why that's important I mean for example you tell people don't wash your organic vegetables right eat the dirt right so talk about how you came to understand that and what the science is behind that and 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 what we need to do to change what's happening well first of all I want to say that I really appreciate what you said before in terms of getting the big picture there because there's actually a lot of people in medicine who still don't that this really is a so a story on the on the unhealthful side of exploitation of workers, exploitation of soil, and then exploitation of our own bodies. We who are the recipients of that food and that system. And I think that's a very important notion to grab onto. So we can't heal communities unless we actually take care of farm workers and take care of soil. Um, but the microbiome is this wonderful way of tracking that connection. It's kind of a nerdy scientific way of telling that story that you just told. Yeah. Um, because in fact, that what's so, so unbelievable about doing this work is that it tracks through on many levels from the microbial to the cultural, you know, so micro to macro, you know, yeah. from legislative to cellular. Yeah. And the, the story of how our internal microbiome, all these you know, billions of bacteria and fungi and nematodes, how they are linked to soil is still trying to be understood and told. It's not the science is you know, in its infancy. And we know, of course, that our microbiome is a unique microbiome. You know, each one of us has a unique microbiome. It's like a From, fingerprint. It's a fingerprint. It's not the same microbiome as soil, but we know that there is a lot of crosstalk. We, you know, evolved as these single cell creatures out of soil. And we and, all grew up in the dirt, right? And Hunting all, and gathering. And, uh, and over millennia, what's happened is that different microbes have found their distinct niches, but that they, in fact, do communicate. And this research is slowly, slowly coming out. And food is probably one of the really important shuttles that, you know, uh, goes back and forth in terms of informing the two microbiomes and influencing them in different ways. Um, but it's not to say that our microbiome is the same as soil microbiome. Um, but there's crosstalk, which is there, this there concept is of meta. Absolutely genetic crosstalk. 
conventional medicine encourages the diagnosis of disease followed by standardized treatment. However, naming disease becomes increasingly meaningless as we understand our inner workings and biological systems within the context of our entire organism. Dr. Hyman further explored this topic with his mentor and father of functional medicine, Dr. Jeffrey Bland. And using the lens of functional medicine, the things that you've helped us know, know and understand, and tr really just getting people to sort of do those simple things that make profound difference. So it's changing the information. Yeah. And that yeah. food is information. Everything is information. Yes. Exercise is information. Sleep mm -hmm. is information. Thoughts are information. Yes. And these are all communicating with every cell and every system in your body every second. And when you understand that, then it's enormously empowering because then you can do something about Precisely. it. Precisely. We have now understood, starting to understand, I don't want to say complete understanding, but we're starting to understand that this outside world, the things that we eat that come from the soils and the environment from which nature nurtures, have an inborn communication connection to our body's receptor system that signals through every DNA molecule that creates our function. Now that is a paradigm shifting concept, that we're connected into the soil, into the air, into the water, into the sun, in ways that are directly tied to these biological processes mm -hmm. that we call intracellular signal transduction, for which we are involved in matrices, not connect, disconnected from the world, but an integrated part of the network of the world into our biology. Yeah, I gotta unpack that, because that was deep. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what Dr. Bland is saying, and I'm, I've been his official translator for 20 years, <laughs> is, that, is that we are constantly in communication with everything, with the sun, water, the air, the earth, with environmental toxins, with our food, which is the biggest thing that, that we deal with every day. So this is really information science. You know, biology has turned into information science and understanding how do we interact with all the information that's around us and in us and all the microbes in us, all the food we eat, and that this is far more relevant than trying to just categorize people into groups around diseases and find the right drug for it. And once we understand that this complete dynamic crosstalk of information is actually driving all the things we see, then we have a whole new way of like not only thinking about it, but treating people from these first principles and seeing extraordinary results when like we never imagined possible. Conventional farming practices like pesticide use, heavy tillage, and a failure to add organic matter back into the soil are resulting in many negative outcomes. The soil microbiome with which our microbes co-evolved is being depleted. This is affecting our food, our health, and the health of our soil. By supporting regenerative agriculture practices and avoiding processed foods, which are primarily made from commodity crops, we can help support a healthy ecosystem both in our environment and in our bodies. If there's someone in your life you think would enjoy this mini episode, please consider sharing it with them. Thanks for tuning in.